The Great Exhibition of the Works of Industry of All Nations, commonly abbreviated to The Great Exhibition, ran from May to October 1851 in London's Hyde Park. It was housed in a glass with iron frame building, which became known as the Crystal Palace. A huge building, some 1,848 feet from east to west, 456 feet from north to south. A central arch transept, of height 108 feet, enclosed a row of elm trees. The western half of the building was assigned to exhibits from Britain, its dependencies and colonies, the eastern half to foreign states. Once the exhibition closed, its various parts and contents were distributed from whence they came. The building was dismantled, being subsequently reassembled, in a modified and enlarged form, at Sydenham, in an area still known as Crystal Palace. Sadly, it was destroyed by fire in 1936. And so, all we have left are some early photographs, watercolour illustrations, sketches, engineering drawings, a full catalogue of all exhibits, actually quite a lot, and certainly enough to give some idea of the grandeur of the whole event. But you can never again walk through the exhibition, in the way that those six million visitors in 1851 were able to. Or maybe you can. By going back to the available contemporary documentation, we are recreating the exhibition as a VR experience, using Unity, Steam VR. The basic footprint of the building, complete with ground floor external walls, plus the gallery floor and railings, with staircases, are already modelled. Here we are, in the main entrance hall. Here would have been the ticket booths and turnstiles. There is an opening in the gallery flooring above, to allow for one of the great elm trees. As we pass through the large wooden doors, in front of us is the transept. In the centre of the building is the crystal fountain. To our left is the western nave, Britain, dependencies and colonies. To our right the foreign nave. One of the largest foreign exhibitors being the United States, just 31 states in 1851. Note the evenly spaced painted iron columns. The building is divided into cells, each of which measures 24 feet by 24 feet, with a column in each corner of most of the cells. We can move along one of the naves to one of the staircases. Each staircase occupies one cell. There are two sets of stairs, each eight foot wide, from the direction of the nave on the ground floor to a landing at half height. Then a further two sets of stairs, in opposite directions, towards the gallery. We can walk up the stairs, the VR automatically compensating for the change in height, although normally we would teleport for rapid access. Once at the top of the stairs you can see the entire gallery, although this wouldn't be possible once the building is populated with exhibits. Watch out for further videos showing progress of this project.